So today we're going to talk about sculpting lips. Um, we have a simple sample here of roughly where we want to get to. Um, and there's a few things we should note about this before we start. I have some reference over here, which is almost, you know, caricatures of lips, but really do help show the structure of them. Um, and then some reference for how they actually align up. So there are certain things that we have to take into account, like the when you're looking from the side view, the edge of your lips or the outside of your lips basically will roughly reach where your eye starts so when we're looking at this from the side our mouth shouldn't be going much further back than where our mouth starts or where our eyes are basically and if we're looking at this from the front generally as a general rule mouths will come out to roughly where the iris is so imagine where the iris is here we're roughly at that point and um, that's not always the case it depends on ethnicity and um, you know whether a person has a big mouth or a small mouth or big eyes or small eyes etc but as a general rule it's a good um, guide so we're going to be sculpting on this head over here which is prepared for this and you see that we're starting off with a flat surface um, without any definition on it so the thing that you'll notice on the other one is that from the side we actually put lips protrude out quite some distance so what you're looking at is a line it will actually come from your nose down to your chin and will generally be very close to if not touching your lips so depends on the person sometimes it'll be touching sometimes it won't again it's it's down to all kinds of factors but on this instance we still do need to create this volume because there are teeth in here which are pushing these lips out so if you have a flat surface like that that's the first thing that we need to, to fix so we can just take a large move tool and grab that area and push it out trying to indicate where the volume of these lips is actually going to be and that's a good start for this you notice if we go down and we look at the bottom of this that there's place for teeth in here um, but if we take this and we move too far out we're basically if we start making a curve that's this wide well then that would be a very wide set of teeth so it's unlikely that that's the case so we need to make sure that when we're taking our volume out we're not doing it for the entire width but roughly the width of where the mouth would go and where the teeth would go so once we have that in place we're ready to start carving in actual lips and philtrum philtrum being the ridge here down um, in, from your nose and you'll notice that that runs from the edge of your nose here edge of your nostril on the outside so we'll start off and the placement doesn't matter too much because we can always change this but generally you're talking about roughly a third of the way down and i'm going to change to a damn standard tool a third of the way down between your nose and your chin and we just draw out a line here going out to roughly where we think uh, the, the iris would start so this is basically a little seabird uh, and not much else um, and that's going to be roughly where the inner part of our lips are so the outer side uh, we may be a little bit high here but uh, we can always fix that afterwards so the first thing i'm going to do is define that upper lip so this shape here we want to define where that is so i'm just going to draw that out using dam standard so dam standard normally we cut in using alt we'll actually push out so i'm just going to push out and say well i want that to look like this so or and this is up to whatever lip reference that you have that you want to match some would be obviously more uh, pointy than others or, or softer than others or you may not even have this some some lips in fact and um, for cartoon lips um, are often quite simple like that so but we just start off with something like this as a start point saying well this is roughly where we want our lips to be now you'll notice that when i do this obviously if we were to look at this from the side it looks ridiculous it's starting to look like a mustache we still have to build up these volumes but the very first thing we're going to do is going to grab a move brush and we're just going to take these points and move them forward trying to create that lip distance and that also includes the center point this point here which is just as much forward as the rest of it so once we have that we can push this forward and we effectively have an upper lip with a very strange looking philtrum and very strange looking area above the upper lip so what we need to do there is just start building that in so i'm just going to take a clay build up brush and just start giving this some of the volume right here this is for the philtrum and hold down alt to carve it in and i'm just going to soften that out by building up this volume down to that lip and i'll even smooth that down when we get to some place that's indicating so this is this is closer we already have an upper lip here now pretty much 
Now you may not get this first time. This is going to come with practice, so don't be disheartened if you're not getting it first time. You can see I have quite a curl on this at the moment. So there'll be a lot of modifying as we go along where you're constantly correcting. Here I'm going to push this back down again and smooth. Um, and the whole lip may move after uh, I've been sculpting it for a while, so I'm not going to get too fussy about that. So this up, this bit here does protrude more than the rest, and you'll see that in, in real people as well. It just comes out that little bit more, but it's generally still coming down at an angle, and I have mine coming uh, quite bulbously coming out from the bottom rather than from the top. So you'll see from most of them, the top is the highest point, and it just immediately comes down at this angle, and that's not what we have going on here. So I'm gonna exaggerate this even more by pulling this stuff out, the upper lip, and I'm going to pull the center of the bottom lip in a little bit. I'm not concerned with what's happening to the actual bottom bottom lip. I'm just looking at the bottom of the upper lip, as it were. So I'm just going to pull this in. Little micro adjustments are all that are, all that are needed. Let's move this out. And a little bit happier with that. So this sharpness of the lip is not something that we're going to keep, but it is good for just showing us where things are. So we can make this a little bit more bulbous. And now we're going to work on the lower lip. So we'll do the same thing again. We're going to take the damn standard brush and I'm going to hold down Alt. I'm going to kind of define where I want this lip to be. Now the shape of it is actually more like that. There's kind of it's kind of a round bottom down here that then goes up to a top like that. So um, if we look at this from here, we're looking at you know kind of a round bottom that goes around here like that. So we want to emulate that shape over here as well. So kind of a round bottom. It comes up like that. Now I've exaggerated this. It doesn't really matter. We, we're going to be adjusting this quite significantly. Maybe I've exaggerated a little bit too much. Something like that is fine. So this is effectively what's really happening with the lips. You can see this bulbous area down here. Uh, and this is this like almost comma shaped uh, lower lip. So we can take our, our clay build up tool again, uh, BCB, and start building up our lower lip, keeping this shape in mind. So it kind of comes in underneath here and comes around. And this is what this upper lip is actually sitting on. So I'm just building up some volume here into this kind of round comma shape roughly up to the limit of where, and I'll actually over overshoot it a little bit because obviously this is almost a caricature um, of that. So it's gonna overshoot it a little bit and then bring it back in here. I'll choose our damn standard to tighten up anything that I'm feeling is, is starting to get lost. I'm even going to cut out a little bit past there. And I'm actually just going to smooth this bit out here with holding down shift. And I'm going to take my move brush and move this lip out and try and get some of this shape back. Now for me, the curl of this is maybe a little bit too much, this curve here. And um, we can take some of that out. And these micro adjustments are what you're going to be doing here all the time. So I'm now giving the, all right, giving the lower lip, uh, it's coming out too much. So basically our, our upper lip is generally is a little bit more out than, than the lower lip, it's further out. So at this point, if we were to draw a line straight down, this one is inset. So on our model over here, that's not the case. So we have the option in Zebra, so just holding down control and masking our upper lip. So we can just kind of mask that whole area, just to protect that. So now when we grab a big move brush, BMV, we grab that lower lip, we can kind of push it in gently and have it sit underneath. So that's a better position for it. Now you'll see underneath the lower lip that we have this kind of soft turner. Now it's quite exaggerated here, but it is actually quite, um, quite uh, strong. So what we can do is we can do the same thing we did with the upper lip. We can now mask our lower lip I'm just holding down control to do that. And now I'm just going to grab a move tool. I'm just going to push that in. And I'll even press smooth 
hold down shift to smooth that out I'll control drag to get rid of our mask and now it's just about shaping these lips into the lips that you want you'll see most lips have a little pocket here of fat that kind of runs from where the lips pinch in here at the end there's this little pocket of fat and it's worth putting that in and um, it just kind of helps add to the believability of it so it comes down from your your upper lip we'll do that we'll smooth it out a little bit smooth it out quite a lot but you can see that it adds that little bit to it we can smooth down here at the bottom I'm actually going to smooth the lower lip a little bit and you'll see that generally on lower lips there's not this line here is almost the texture that's defining this rather than an actual line as such so we can actually smooth this out down here you're not really going to see where that um, split between lip and and uh, skin is so I'm going to hold my damn standard and just type that pull that back in again and I'm even going to start softening this stuff out here now this little ridge here so I'm just holding down shift and just softening this back down smooth that back a little bit more and just choose our move tool and make any modifications as we see fit after this it's you can see actually here i have the lip the upper lip the upper part of the upper lip actually extruding quite a little bit more so we can pull that out that's the case and then smooth stuff back so these little micro adjustments now are going to be what what finalizes your lip at any given stage you can go back to your damn standard if you want to add more definition to it just holding down alt and i'm just running over it like that uh, and then just going backwards and forwards softening as needed sometimes you will get this kind of um little almost like a double lip kind of thing so you can pull that in here and then just smooth it out uh, and sometimes i'm going to undo that <laughs> uh, do it one more time here It kind of folds down underneath the lip so when you smooth it out down here where it doesn't actually happen anymore and I'll tighten this up and as I said these are just now micro adjustments that are up to you to decide depending on the reference that you have so often you'll smooth this out so if we go to a side view here I can see that I need to pull this upper lip up a little bit so I'm going to do the same thing as I did before I'm going to mask out our upper lip and I'm going to take the upper part of the lower lip and pull that up that just gives that that extra curve up here at the top of the lip so from that we can then smooth that back down again and we can dynamesh at any given stage just to make sure that what we're getting is what we think we have <laughs> and that we get that every time we dynamesh Go gentle on your smoothing when you are doing it. Just going to change the color of this just a little bit. Just so we can see what's going on here. And you can see that my lower lip here is actually coming out quite significantly more. Um, so I'm just going to dial that back a little bit. And I feel like my chin isn't actually coming out enough i have too small a chin here so i'm just going to move this back up give it extra volume Once you get to this stage then you can divide your model as normal and start adding in extra surface details so if we hit Control d a couple of times just to subdivide this and um, then we can use our uh, whatever textures you might have or damn standard brushes or whatever to start adding in some kind of lip details that's up to you 
when you do look at real people however you will find that um, lips are often a lot more subtle than you think so it is worth uh, toning it down a little bit and you know it's not necessarily always going to have these one lip being further than the other that totally depends on the person um, so sometimes reality is very different from the idealized sculptures that we all tend to go for all right hope these tips help and as usual please do consider subscribing thanks bye